Welcome to Chetufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Wow, wow, well, 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 we are here, we are back, we are on the show and alive and kicking. We are so blessed, the family, that finally we are back on our feet. Oh, thank you for coming to uh, be with us on the show. Welcome to the gospel of the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. Welcome to Chatufa Chete Chete, Chatufa television production wow i've been missing you family definitely i've been missing you you know we've been going through very very serious challenges with our network uh, for the past week really it has been a tough time and the enemy is trying to block the gospel of the freedom of the zimbabwean people but ah uh, you know what we are more than conquerors in him who loved us welcome to the family i'm seeing quite a lot of people that are already here with uh, Gogo Bwea being the very first one. Later, color, thank you very much. Uh, Caroline, thank you very much. I, Majete, Seko, Leta, Jason, uh, Gogo Bwea, Beatrice, Posia, Tafaz, Ogovere, my sister Hilda, Machova, ah, there are many, many people. I can't finish you all. Let us move. Ah, Gogo Stole, thank you for being here. Right, I want to greet all the Gogos of Shanduko. Pana Gogo Bwea, Shanduko, Sealitanda, Sealitanda, Wherever you are, we love, love you. We continue to say, be strong for the Zimbabwe that we have been waiting for is here. It's come. I think you can smell it. You can see around. Things are happening and things are showing that indeed. Remember, family, face and see for yourself what is happening. So we are live we are on the show and we are going to be discussing on the issues that are happening in the nation mnangagwa too compromised to stop the end of his rule as tensions rise in zanu pf and the military this is what we are going to be discussing today we are going to be looking at many many things that are really happening in the nation i can assure assure you family that this time around at this pace and where we are right now there is nothing that mnangagwa can do anymore to stop the end to his rule. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. Because the pot is boiling. It, uh, it, it is boiling and simmering. There is no way that Mnangagwa can escape because the snakes have risen their heads. And anytime a strike can happen and you can see things happen. Remember, we are the only people that speak about seasons. My God, I love this. <laughs> I love this. We are the only people that speak about, about seasons. We've been saying for the past, I don't know, month or two, we've been talking about this season, March, April, and May. And we've always been saying, family, intercessors, let us watch out for what is about to happen for us from the beginning of March. I think many of you can, believe, can, can really believe and salute to say God is on the move. I'm telling you, just look at what is happening. The events that started beginning of March, they've never been happening before. There's been just an escalation. Uh, there's just been an escalation of events that are happening in the country. And as I am telling you right now, things are not well. Things are definitely not, not well for Emerson Munangar. We are going to be looking at many, many issues that are pertaining to what we are talking about today because the tensions that are happening, I think you are, you, you are seeing all that is happening right now um we will touch issues that are very very painful <laughs> painful to, 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 to the lacoste faction but not painful to us to us we are celebrating the move of god but with them i'm telling you <laughs> they are sleeping with shoes on i'm telling you Mnangagwa has started he has just opened a can of worms what he has begun with this third term a, a bid it has just started to you know cause all all hell to break loose and as we are speaking right now, there is a lot that has happened already. Right. To begin with, we were talking about the issue of, uh, of Mchangwa. You remember, we've been talking about the issues of Mchangwa and the like and the like. And that was the beginning of many, many other doors that continued to be opened. 
These are doors that are contributing to the fall of Emerson Mnangago. And as we are speaking, family, we know one thing that is happening. One thing that is happening is God is on the move. I know people are good at analyzing. People you can analyze and say, no, well, this is news, and then they can give their own comments and analysis. But you know, the first analysis which we talk about here on this very show, on this very channel, is God is on the move. Whatever is happening in the country right now is not normal. People can't, people are not seeing eye to eye. The temperatures are high up. And right now, as I am speaking to you, there is this story which is going around, the story of uh, the, the, the Indian people, the Indian military or the Indian security that, uh, that have been seen in the country and the like. And while others are saying it's not it, some are saying it is, some are saying it's a conspiracy theory, some are saying it doesn't exist, while some say it does really exist. But there is evidence that has been put across that uh, these people have been seen around the offices of Emerson Mnangango. And we are still hunting for that evidence. We need the pictures, we need the videos. Once we get them, we are bringing them on the show and we are going to analyze and talk about them. So what is happening in the country right now is that Mnangango sees that is cornered, highly, highly cornered. And the very people that are supposed to protect Mnangango Nangagwa are the people that brought Mnangagwa to sit. And, and, and this is where the whole problem is. The problem that we've always been mentioning here, you remember in the last show I was saying, Mnangagwa is creating more enemies than needed. You know, there's a point that you don't need to just have everyone around you, you know, bitter about what you are doing. Because you are harming many people. He touched many areas. You remember the issue of the demolitions of the houses, the displacement of the people, and we spoke here on this show and we said there are many, many people that are powerful in Zanpia. We have their relatives right now that they cannot defend or protect from Nangagwa. They may keep quiet. They may not talk about it. They may keep quiet, but they will be hurt. Imagine when your aunt, your uncle, your brother-in-law, your sister or whatever is had their house destroyed by Nangagwa. And yet you are up there either in the military ranks, in the CIO ranks, in the police, or right inside Zanopiev ranks. We, are you going to be happy about it? Because how many, if it is a whole village that has been destroyed, how many relatives do you have that have been destroyed and their families and children? Will you be able to restore those people on your own? It won't be happening. It can't be happening. You remember the video of Chadzamira that we spoke about when it came, that video, remember what I said on the show? I said, I was, a voice spoke that when I was listening to that very video. And the voice said to me, that police guy and the army guy are not happy about what that man is reading. Where he was declaring that all land belongs to the president. Remember? And that was the Sarajevo incident. And it started now to open more can of worms, more can of worms, more can of worms. Until we get to this point right now, that the battle is drawn. Right now, knives are out. <laughs> I always tell you that we've never seen anything that we are going to see in this season. If we think we've seen drama in the politics of Zimbabwe, we are yet to see things happening. This time around, things are going to happen because the time and the season of the move of the Lord has come. And God definitely is going to be showing forth that he is God. I've been reporting on this issue. And this is the story of former Indian Army officers. I know you've heard about it. You've been reading about it. You've met it quite many times. But what we are saying is, if indeed this is true, why is Munangago having these people? Why are these people, if it is fake, what is it trying to do? Because these are real cars. Because I, I was looking at people that were giving some comments and they were saying, no, they cannot parade themselves like that. Do you think a real trained security force or whatever would want to parade itself clearly like that? They wouldn't, something like that. But the thing that we want to ask is, okay, are these not real physical cars that were seen in Harare? They are indeed physical cars seen in the streets of Harare. Okay, if these are not really the people that are talked about to be or meant to be the ones that are in those cars. Why are these cars being written like this? 
Who is writing these cars like this? For what reason? That is the question. And if they write them like this, like a car written Indian army, and then it has all this, what? who is trying to play tricks? Is it Mnangagwa who is trying to frighten people by trying to paint a picture that he has some other people that are protecting him? But it is also understood that, understood that these guys are being seen physically around, moving around in the country. You see, it is happening. Or is it somebody else who is trying to, uh, you know, portray a certain picture about Emerson Nangago that he has some, he has brought in some illegal military or uh, trained forces to come into the country without the knowledge of, of parliament or something like that, so that probably they could find a scapegoat on how they can uh, use that to either put him in a corner or something. But definitely one thing that we can certainly say is there is something happening. Whatever it is that is happening, Remember, family, we are in a season of what? Season of exposure. It is going to come out. Whatever it is that is happening, it is going to come out. We are going to see it coming out very, very soon. And this is the doing of the Lord. We have been saying over and over that this time around, what has been spoken in the hidden places is going to be shouted from the roof, rooftops. Whatever has been whispered in an ear, is going to be heard in the whole city this time around. Whatever has been hidden in dark places shall be paraded right in front of the light of God. And everyone is going to see. Remember what I'm always saying. I'm always telling you, family, that God is not going to allow Zanopiev just to fall before he totally, totally exposes them before the whole world. And this is what we are seeing happening. So they can deny it all they want. The uh, propaganda machine can come and say, comment whatever they want and try to, you know, spin over and become, you know, propagandists that are trying to run away from the truth. But that does not change what is on the ground. What is on the ground is there is heat within the camp. There is heat within the camp. Somebody is doing some moves and some people are watching the moves. And some people are saying, why is this one making moves that he's making? If Nangagwa brought the Indian people, why is he bringing the Indian people? Why can't he be protected by the same people that brought him onto the position? You cannot have an army that brings you to the seat of president, and then you will have an external army that comes to, to, to guard over you and protect you. For what reason? What has happened? So this is what is happening on the ground. And remember the shuffling. We are seeing the shuffling in the army like it has never, ever happened before, even in the times of Robert Mugabe. We have not seen positions in the army just being shuffled all over, people just being fired from the military, you know, people just being demoted from positions in the military. And I can tell you, Nangagwa is just staring up a honest nest. He is just staring up. He has shaken a honest nest. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be. This is why we are saying he, at this point, Emerson Nangagwa is too compromised to stop the end to his rule. It, it is no longer going to be able anyway. There is nothing so far that he can ever do to reverse the situation and where things seem to be right now. Right. So this is the first portion of uh, our analysis on why we are saying Nangagwa cannot go further. I am telling you, Yes, the nation could be talking about elections and uh, Sadiq probably also talking about elections and talking about June and the like. Let me tell you, there is a very high possibility that even if elections are declared, that okay, they will happen. Mnangagwa still cannot last to the election time. <laughs> Don't play with this season. March, April, May, June, we have always been talking about this. And I said many times, almost on every show, that citizens, intercessors, Change lovers and change champions. Let us up our game in terms of prayer during these months. And there's something that I was just avoiding to say all along. In all those times that I've been encouraging us to pray, I was not saying one thing, just one thing that I was not saying. But I'm going to say it today. The one thing that I've not been saying all along is, in these months that I'm talking about, we could see Mnangagwa down. In these very months. I was just telling you that it's a time in the season that the Lord has released a wind of change, a mighty wind of change. 
But this wind of change is going to be doing a lot of things. One is going to be bringing exposure to Nangagwa and whatever that shenanigans that they are playing. Number two is going to create divisions and fights. Number three, it is going to also start to show the direction of where the country is going. Very, very soon, you will start to see it clearly where the country is going. Ah, those ones, let them speak. The third force can speak whatever they want. The G40s can also be there somewhere, wherever they are. They can talk whatever they are talking, the Mchangwas, whatever they can talk. But I'm telling you, Zimbabwe is just going one direction. According to the spirit of the Lord, Zimbabwe in this season is just going one direction. So these ones are allowed to try to also, you know, interject, to come in and try to do whatever that they think they want to do. But let me tell you, at the end of the day, it is the counsel of the Lord. <laughs> my God, when I start to talk about my God, I start to feel, you know, <laughs> I feel like, uh, you know, bubbles and butterflies in my, in my tummy. The, the counsel of the Lord God of heaven is going to be established over the nation of Zimbabwe. Everyone else, all political players, they can try whatever they are trying. It's fine. But at the end of the day, the truth remains true and the power of God shall be seen. The authority of the Most High God shall be drawn and seen clearly over the nation of Zimbabwe. Because his will is that the Zimbabwean people in this season must see their freedom. And that is it. And that is where we are focusing. Our eyes are focusing on the Zimbabwean freedom, the Zimbabwean freedom is what we are focusing on. All other issues can happen from the sides, but we are going one direction at the end of the day. Nobody can stop what the Lord has started. Nobody can reverse the word that proceeds from the mouth of God and he himself, the owner of the very word, God himself, he says the word that proceeds out of my mouth will never come back to me void. It will always accomplish what I please and it will prosper in that which I have set it out for. God has sent out his word and he says that word that I send, it can't come back to me void. It will come back to me to report success that I have established what you sent me to go and, 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 and make sure that it is accomplished. And that is the word of God. So the word he has given to the Zimbabwe in this season, to the point of raising channels and platforms like Chatufa Television Production, where the will of the voice of God shall be given clearly without mincing words, without hiding, but speaking directly that Mnangangwa is going down in this season. Zanupiev is biting the dust. The enemy shall devour itself. The enemy is going to fry itself with its own fat. This is the season that we are entering. <laughs> no two ways about it. Insult as as much as you want. But I'm telling you, the day is coming where you shall know that Jehovah is God. Where you shall know that Zanupiev are just mortal men. They are just a lump of dust. 35 kgs of meat. God Almighty remains the Lord. And he is the creator of the universe. He is the uncreated creator. He created Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans. And when he says, this is the direction that the nation goes, no matter how many uh, degrees you think you have, no matter how, how many years you think you have been in politics, no matter how much knowledgeable you think you can be, there is nothing that surpasses his authority. And that's where we operate. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Ah. If you talk about us here on this very channel and the intercessors that are standing in the camp and those that are declaring the living word of God over the nation, that is our position. That is where we stand. That is what we declare. And we know that it is coming to pass. And very, very soon. Just watch what is happening. Just watch what is happening. The other issue that we are looking at today is there is again a, a suspicion that is happening right inside the Lacoste itself. My God, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. Within the Lacoste faction family, there is division. The division is coming because of the move that the American government made. <laughs> Remember when I talked about these sanctions last time, I said the removal of these sanctions and the celebration that we are seeing people of ZANU-PF and people like Benson Martinara saying it is, they were taking credit, saying it is them that did this and that. I said right on the channel, 
and I said they are just taking credit for 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 for, for nothing. It's not them. This is God. I said the remover of these sanctions is God. God wants ZANU-PF to remain with no scapegoat of their failure. Now that the sanctions are removed and they've been explicitly explained as targeted, who again is going to come back and say all failures of ZANU-PF are as a result of sanctions? Because now they've been explained. And we are we are happy that the, the, the US government came again and clarified on the video that is running all over social media. They've actually explained They've actually explained. Sorry about that. I'm just somebody is calling me when I'm on the show. Let me just switch off. Right. They've the US government has actually explained, and they have showed the whole world that the Zimbabwean uh, 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 sanctions have never been uh, 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 real. I mean, Zidera especially, it has never been sanctioned. And they uh, to explain what it meant that these these were measures that were put specifically targeting individuals but zanu pf through its propaganda has managed to convince many many zimbabweans including their especially their supporters that those were sanctions and the failures the hunger and the salvation and the suffering the nation is going through is a result of these sanctions and they were saying it is the opposition bt Nube, and uh, uh, chamisa who went to ask for those sanctions right that is an old story well dead and buried but what we are saying today is the american government has made a move and they adjusted the sanctions they concentrated sanctions on individuals the nangagwa auxilia nangagwa added tagwire and um is it is that general tafumane or somebody and then there's some 11 other people out there right but there's a big chunk, chunk of people that have, have also been removed right these people that have been removed the ones that are still remaining have begun to question now to say what is it that has caused these others to go out so the rumor that is still circulating i use the correct word i'm not i didn't make a mistake on that one the rumor that is circulating is that there is there's a, these guys that have been released have communicated somehow with the the sanction, yes, <laughs> and presented some information. They volunteered some information about the ones that have remained within the sanctions. And these ones were given a leeway to say, if you would finish us with enough information, we are going to take you out. So the rumor is also getting to other people. It's getting to those others that have remained in. It's still a rumor, remember? But already there's suspicion now. Those that remained are saying these guys could have gone behind the back and sold us out and revealed our secrets. And this is why we find ourselves in this situation. Those ones that are out are hearing that the other guys are already not trusting you. If they are innocent, they are already seeing that their lives are in danger because Mnangagwa is a killer. He kills. If they are not innocent, if they are guilty, Already they are living in fear again of anything happening to them. Number one, from being demoted, from being fired, from being killed, especially. All these are possibilities that could happen to some of these people. Remember the very last show, we were talking about the possibility of for more divisions, more firings, more resignations in San Pierre, and more heads rolling in San Pierre. And look at some of the things that are contributing here. One thing that people must understand is that when you see the U.S. government making a move, they make a move after they've done enough research. They don't just rush on hearsay or what. They do their due diligence. They send in their intelligence. And they take information until they are satisfied that now we can take a proper action. And this is what has happened this is why you find the addition of Auxilia Mnangagwa, who originally was not part and parcel of the, of the sanction. It is because of her dealings, especially in Belarus. Remember, the American government is talking about enabling a situation that is continually making the Zimbabwean people suffer. Human rights abuses, you know, political victimization, 
and close the closure of political space and democracy all these things are all combined as you continue to have meetings as actually Amnangagwa has meetings with the Belur Belarusian government which is known to be a de facto dictatorship and them acquiring property and giving also property to Belur Belarusians in Zimbabwe they track all those things they look at the values all those Zubko buses that were coming from Belarus and all those other tractors and whatever things that are just coming from Belarus and making Belarus so rich with the Zimbabwean money. When they bring the, those goods, whatever it is that they bring from Belarus, they multiply, they inflate the figures. I remember last time when some Zubkos came, I think they inflated the figures up to 100%. Just imagine. And th this is what we are talking about. These are the people that are watched by the world. The whole world is watching them. And now when the move has been made by the American government, it has now caused a crack within the Lacoste faction itself. Now, what, where, where do they see things getting difficult for them now? You know, when you have enemies that are fighting you from outside, this is the time that you really need to be one unit. So we, we, check on this title. When we say Mnangagwa is too compromised to stop the end of his rule, we are not joking. Because Lacoste is a faction. When they are being attacked by G40, they are being attacked by third force, they are being attacked, attacked by the military, the Chiwenga faction. Here, uh, Chris Mchangwa is also cooking his witchcraft somewhere against them from somewhere. Right. All that happening, this is the period that the Lacoste faction should be found to be really in unity so that they can sit down and strategize and plan together. But look at what is happening now. The cracks within Lacoste itself now, when they start to point each other, I mean, point fingers at each other because of what has happened, especially concerning to the issue that we are talking about of the uh, US sanctions. This is causing more tensions in Lacoste itself, more cracks. And when they are cracked like that, what will happen when the enemy comes to attack? A house divided shall never stand. Every household that is divided shall never stand. That is exactly what is happening. So it's not just one direction. Everything is just coming from all directions. The, the wind that is coming against the ZANPF is not one, one, coming from one side. It's coming from all directions. And it is never going to be easy for them to survive all of them. They can survive one and will get them. They can survive two, but the next one will get them. So this is the scenario that they are, they are, they are facing right now. This is the scenario that Mnangagwa is facing right now. So Mnangagwa was very angry. He was angered by the move of the um, American government because he sees that it is targeting to hit right on his head. Because here a nail has been nailed exactly right on the on the on the forehead of Mnangagwa. This is why he was very very angry and he had to give a very strong message. And that message is the message I just want us to share here. Let me just share with you the message uh, or the speech that Mnangagwa gave, angry with what America has done because he's seeing that this is costing my throne. Right. So we have the video here, and I would want you to hear how angry he was when he spoke about this. This is Nick Mangwana say, we strongly condemn tendencies by some powerful countries who preach peace, human rights, and democracy, and yet clandestinely fund conflicts and unconstitutional change of governments. Can you hear this one? Change of government. Or we strongly condemn tendencies mm -hmm. by some powerful countries who preach peace human rights and democracy, and yet clandestinely fund conflicts and the unconstitutional change of governments. For the right. I want you to catch there. Unconstitutional change of government. Of course, ZANU-PF being propagandists, already they are trying to twist the facts here, and they now want to call it a, a regime change agenda. And when he speaks like that, it is because he does understand that the move by the American government, which the poor, uh, you know, Galibus, Zanupia, Varakashi, and others started celebrating, now they are looking at it and seeing the truth. Remember what I said in the last show. I said Zanupia is all over social media. They are celebrating whatever has happened, what has been done in terms of 
these sanctions. But one thing that they are not seeing is they are celebrating is unfounded. You remember, family, I said this. I said their celebration is unfounded because by the time they shall realize what this move actually means, they will put down their champagne bottles and they will, put, then they will, they will hold their cheeks in sorrow. Because right now they are excited and dancing. But now you see what exactly we were saying last time is what is happening now. Nangabo is now seeing that the move of the sanctions was not a move of making things better or whatever according to the way that they wanted to take it. It is actually coming after him. He is the target here. And those that are the closest in a circle. And that is what is happening. And he can see the pressure. Pressure within, pressure from international, pressure from aside, pressure from citizens. And this is what is happening. So let's continue to hear. Their own narrow interests. Change of governments for their own narrow interests. We further condemn the use of unilateral and illegal sanctions as a foreign policy tool at the disposal of some powerful nations, such as those sanctions imposed on Zimbabwe and the country. We right. So I, I would just want to comment there again. This is a statement that is coming after the, the removal or the modification of the sanctions, remember. And they were explained clearly that these sanctions are targeting Mnangagwa, his wife, Kudata Girei, retired Chiyotafumane, and the like. But look at what he says when he speaks about the sanctions himself. He does not want to mention targeted sanctions, that the sanctions that have been targeted uh, uh, upon myself, he wants to say upon Zimbabwe. Because Mnangagwa calls himself Zimbabwe. That is the, where the problem is. He calls himself Zimbabwe. Eh? So they have been hit by sanctions. Zimbabwe and Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans are not on sanctions. But he wants to make sure that he, he embraces everybody to share his problems. So that when there is when there are, his failure continues, he will continue to blame it on what? On the on, on the sanctions. So the American government, like I said, they came out and they explained uh, exactly what is happening on the on the issue of the sanctions. Instead of us uh, just getting it from Zanu PF, we also want to hear what they are saying. On March what 4th, is America saying? President Biden signed an executive order terminating the Zimbabwe sanctions program, which has been in effect since 2003. That same day, the US Department of the Treasury, Office of Foreign Assets Control, or OFAC, designated 11 individuals and three entities. Right. This is so clear. It's 11 individuals and three entities. So here, when they talk about three entities, they are talking about three uh, units that are not human or maybe companies. Maybe the, the last time it was the, the military company, is it Zimbabwe National, uh, the, the, the Zimbabwe Army uh, Company, something like that. I don't know what they call it exactly. Uh, it which was also under, under, under targeted sanctions. So they have three companies and 11 individuals. The rest of the other people have been thrown out. They are out of those sanctions. Right, let's hear. Their engagement in corruption and human rights abuses under the Global Magnitsky Human Rights Accountability Act. Right. This is where it hits Mnangagwa hard. This is where it hits him. Because these sanctions also, they, what they are going to be doing is they are highlighting Mnangagwa throughout the whole world. It's a highlight that this man is a big criminal. This is a big criminal. This is the word that they don't just use because of, of, they will have to be speaking political, diplomatic language. But they are simply parading this, these people as the greatest criminals in Zimbabwe. People that steal, people that kill. Right. And when paraded like this, they are talking about you know, a, a, an agreement that is un, global, that is universal, about how they, they condemn acts like that. What happens now is pressure will start to mount from the unilateral agreement that has been done internationally. It, mount, it, it, it continues to mount going down into smaller entities. Like you'd find that it is going to be pressure on the AU and the AU 
also will be putting pressure on this on, on the Sadiq. And the Sadiq now, for them, they have a, a, a torrid time of wanting to make things right in Zimbabwe, while Mnangagwa is trying to bulldoze them to give him that the seat of the chairmanship. And uh, while the pressure on Sadiq is coming right from the top, coming down, these countries that are in Sadiq, they also benefit because they have bilateral relations with other countries that are up there in, in Europe and, and the like. And they cannot compromise their own relationships with powerful countries that they are trading with or doing business with. So pressure will also be coming to individual companies, I mean countries, which are dealing with individual countries that are powerful and out there. So they will have to go to target this very president and say, if you would continue to associate with Mnangagwa, stand with him, we are going to be withdrawing this and this and this and this from your, your country. And this, these people are powerful. Whether we, we can hate them, we can call them imperialists, we can call them blue, pink noses like Robert Mugabe or whatever that we can say about them. But these guys are powerful. They control the world, simple and straight. Every country, when it talks about the, its own currency, they compare it versus the US dollar, including China. If, no matter what they try to do, these are the guys that control the money and they have the power and they have allies, they have associates. The moment they make a declaration like this one, any associate of America will withdraw any connection whatsoever from Zimbabwe or from Zanpia or from these individuals. So it might look like it's just a statement, but it is powerful. These are some of the things that we are saying are snakes that are biting Munangagwa to his fall, and he is not going to survive this. Too much. The United States is committed to ensuring our sanctions are timely, relevant, and targeted against individuals responsible for corruption and serious human rights abuses. In Zimbabwe, we continue to witness gross abuses of political, economic, and human rights. The targeting of civil society and severe restrictions on political activity have stifled fundamental freedoms, while key actors, including government leaders, have siphoned off government resources for personal gains. Sanctions on these individuals and entities do not represent a sanction on Zimbabwe or its public. Exactly. This is what we are talking about. Can you hear that they are talking about siphoning? <laughs> When you hear the word siphoning, we are talking about a massive, mass, massive looting scheme. It's not like just stealing some money there from there, move it there and there. When, when now it, the word siphoning has to be used there, it means it's at a massive scale. So ZANPF is being monitored for all the stealing that they are doing, the siphoning of the resources of a nation. They are being monitored. And all these records are there. Even where they are keeping those monies or whatever that they are looting, it's right there on records. Don't play with the CIA. Every information is there. By the time that Mnangagwa falls and ZANPF goes down, these records will simply be reviewed. And those are some of the records that we are going to be using to follow up on them, to bring back whatever has been stolen from Zimbabwe back to Zimbabwe. Because right now, our own intelligence is supporting them. So they don't have anything that they can give to the new Great Zimbabwe is in terms of information about the dealings of ZANU-PF. But these are the people that will do that for us. And when those in, when that information is supplied, and then we start making lobbies as a nation, at national level, nation to nation now, discussing about how these, these uh, riches can be brought back for the benefit of the Zimbabwean people. And definitely, those riches shall be brought back. There's no way, I always tell you that you can never hide money. Money and property are two things that are very difficult to hide. Where can you hide them? One day or the other, you just get discovered and the people will recover what belongs to them. The United States reaffirms its commitment to working with the people of Zimbabwe. This sanctions transition makes clear what has always been true. U.S. sanctions are not on the country of Zimbabwe. We are refocusing our sanctions on specific 
and clear individuals and entities. We continue to urge the government of Zimbabwe to take concrete steps to more open and democratic governance, including addressing corruption and protecting human rights. There, there we have it. There we have it. So it's clear and Zanpiv may continue to want to run with their propaganda, but it is very clear what is happening. And Mnangagwa cannot continue to hide behind the finger anymore. This is why we are saying, guys, <laughs> God is on the move. <laughs> God is on the move. This is why we say only the righteous shall see the Zimbabwean, the new great Zimbabwe being handed into their hands. Because we are the people that are following <laughs> exactly the move of God. Others are following news. We are not following news. We are, we, are, we are going behind following the footsteps of the Lord as he is moving throughout Zimbabwe and making sure that he does all the exposure needed. And then the next thing is he makes the snakes strike whoever has to be stricken by snakes. And the next thing is we will see the enemy. Dagon is falling right by his nose on a tough tarmac. And I've always told you on this family that the first thing that I want to see falling is that statue that has been put near the reserve bank. That is near under statue. That is the greatest altar that is sacrificing, that is having blood sacrificed on it against the Zimbabwean people. We want that thing to fall. And it is going to fall. And the day that it will fall, <laughs> Pharaoh will have fallen. We will celebrate like Miriam. We will dance and play the tambourines. <laughs> we will dance as Zimbabwe. There's going to be ululations. There's going to be victory celebration. There's going to be chaos of joy in Zimbabwe. Because some will not know what to do, whether to cry. Some will not know whether they should, you know, hug, laugh. Or, you know, you won't know. I don't know what I will do that day. I just don't know. But all the altars of evil that is the propelled ZANU-PF and continue to keep ZANU-PF in power are going down in the name of Jesus. Ah, I say the name of Jesus with so much pride. <laughs> I am one person who, when I don't know how it happens when I come to speak about Jesus, even if I was speaking my Shonglish, but when I come to Jesus, my I speak from the north. I know this God. He is going to demonstrate this time around that ZANU PF, you are just mortal you, humans. There is nothing that is so special about ZANU PF. Zimbabwe does not belong to ZANU PF. ZANU PF is not Zimbabwe, and Zimbabwe is not ZANU PF. And enough is enough. The time is now for them to go. There's still pressure, by the way. Remember, in the war veterans, again, the war veterans are said to be. Rejecting everything that Mnangagwa is doing now. After rejecting Chris Mchangwa and he fired Mchangwa, they are for doing their own things, going in their own direction. They are no longer taking him as, as, as their patron and they continue to... I, I'm, I, I hear that he was... Uh, Ketinam Jatu was saying they've tried to follow some other people to come and take over the position and it's like those people refused. People like Matema Danda, people like, like Ray Kaukonde, and the like and the like. They were asked to come, and it didn't work. So it means, I also hear like it's not but also something like that. So you know what? When we look at everything in the context of the promises of God, we can smell our freedom. We can test, we can literally test our freedom. Zimbabwe, your time has come. Be still and know that he is the Lord. Be still and know that God is on the throne. It does not matter how many years we've been suffering at the hands of ZANU PF. It does not matter how long ZANU PF has played tricks and succeeded. It does not matter how many times ZANU PF has declared that they will go on and on and on. How many times they've said, Tichinko Tonga, Tichinko Tonga, don't worry about it. That does not remove God from the throne of power and might. He remains the one who sits on that throne with all power and might in his hand. And this is the season 
that God is demonstrating to all Zimbabweans, those that believe and those that don't believe, those that pray and those that don't pray, that God is God. Because Zanu PF will fall without a gun, without blood, without knives that have been uh, taken out of pockets. Nothing. Zanu PF will simply fall in a calamity that people will look around and say, we didn't see this coming. <laughs> we didn't see this coming. Nobody saw this coming. Mnangagwa did not see it coming. Lacoste did not see it coming. Zimbabweans did not see it coming. But there are people that will see it coming. And those are the people that are called the intercessors that are standing in the gap, declaring the living word of God over the nation, going into our prayer closet and hearing the voice. And we say we walk and walk and we hear the spirit. We walk and walk and listen to the spirit. And that formula is taking us exactly to the new great Zimbabwe. I am telling you, we are more than conquerors. We are going to see the last days of Zanu PF in this season that we are entering. Family, I am telling you, we are going to pray like we have never prayed before. Let's expand. We want to start to make 24-hour prayer sessions. We want to start them here. There's somewhere else that we are doing them, and we want to start them here, where we are going to have people praying at every hour. At every hour, we want people praying. People can choose what time they want to come in, and then they pray for their one hour. The next go to the hour, you, get, you, you take the button from the one who prayed from one to two. Somebody takes the button. I know all over the world, the Chatuva the family, by the way, we have reached 18,000. To, uh, a few days ago and I want to say thank you so much I'm, it is because of you family you are spreading the gospel you are telling people about the platform you are continuously inviting other people and sharing some of these videos so that we can have more and more people praying for Zimbabwe more and more people understanding the move of God we want to engage in serious prayers that have never been seen that have never been known because we are the armies of the most high God we are praying without ceasing, and we pray to make sure that Zimbabwe is delivered. So let us start to choose the, the weeks or, 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 or with the week we can begin, and people choose the hours throughout, and we can have people praying 24 hours for Zimbabwe, non-stop. Heaven must be hearing knocks from Zimbabwean intercessors, knocks on doors continuously, non-stop. And I'm telling you, the Bible says, the righteous judge, although he did not honor men, but he had to come out because the old widow had persisted to knock on his door until he said, yes, I need my rest and I need my peace. Let me grant this woman what she deserves. And this is the attitude of our God as we knock continuously on his door to say, let it be a speedy delivery. We are not praying for Zimbabwe to be delivered. Zimbabwe is delivered in the spirit already. But what we are now praying for is the speed so that it happens like yesterday. Because we want our country like yesterday from these thieves and these children of the devil, children of Satan. We want our country simple and we are not apologetic about it. We are not. I just want to hear what some family members are saying here. I'm seeing quite a number of uh, contributions that are coming. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming here. Let's hear. Uh, my brother, Stephen Mazorozzi says, big up, Chatufa. We are beginning to see the end of Zanu PF. Indeed, God is in it. Listening from UK. Oh, thank you so much, my brother. Yes, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed there. Uh, Gogo Stole, how are you? Oh, she says, siphoning. Yo, indeed, they are siphoning. Those people are stealing. I'm telling you, by the time that we are going to be hearing the testimonies and the reports coming out of how these people have been stealing, we are going to be shocked. Some will faint. <laughs> how are you? Good evening, my family. Uh, I'm late. God spoke once, twice. I heard the power belongs to God. Mnangagwa and his Zanu PF will be buried now. Now, God is in it. Gogo Chimunda. Thank you very much. Gogo, we love you. We love you. We love you. Yes, indeed. Zanu PF is going out right now and right here. Um, Henry Maguire says, the eyes of the wicked are not open enough to see what's coming from the front. The blind spot of the wicked is universal. Habakkuk 1 verse 3. God will never acquit the wicked. Yes, definitely. They will never be acquitted. They will have to meet the, the, 
the, the fate of what they have done, right? Uh, 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 my sister Eva Bote says, Idi Acha Zivi Kunova Pumo Uzivi Wese Wapera. I like it. Kona Idi Achi Zungaira. He touched the anointed one, my president Chamisa. Now Marivakurwa Chamisa and Yerezaki. God is in it. The chain champion is just, you know, quiet. <laughs> If it's God who is fighting, what do you need to do? If you do understand that God has entered the ring, why should you be looking for gloves? <laughs> you don't need the boxing gloves when God has entered the ring. Let God beat people. Let them be beaten until they will know. Boshi Angumi says, Aruma Nemamba this time, Aruma Nemamba this time, he will not survive the venom. Definitely, he won't. My brother Will, how are you? Oh, long time. He says, big looters. Buying chiefs' cars to bribe chiefs, yet no ambulances. Chiefs shall also pay. Taking bribes to aid Zanu PF to steal elections. We are watching you, chiefs. Definitely. Those chiefs are not chiefs. Most of them, I told you, that they are imposed by Zanu PF. Zanu PF is entering into the family uh, uh, um, traditions and choosing somebody that they know that they have placed in their pocket. Tarsa Isabel says, good evening, Chatufa and family. I want to agree with Chatufa on all what you are saying. Even Kumaso, Young Guva, you could see another Zimbabwe was soon good way. Zanu definitely falling this time. Definitely, definitely. Thank you very much, my brother. Yes, it is our time, it is our season. Jashika, Ngoya Kwana, the time is now. This cuts Chile. Zanu PF, pack your bags and go. Peter Mabung says, Rambai Maka Janyamun, Wamar, Zinoita, definitely Zinoita. Jimar, what's no matter is he's also, uh, uh, he's not like uh, some broken CD. When he speaks, he speaks his word, when he declares his word over us. Definitely, it is going to come to pass. Simon Mazongo says they missed the point on sanctions. It's now tougher on the enablers for sure. God is in it. Yes, uh, very difficult. And they know it. And they are crying foul now. Alfia Chikoma says, I love the way you trust in God, my brother. Indeed, the Lord is in it. Definitely. This is the only weapon we have, the God of heaven. We have tried so many times, but it did not work. Uh, Regina Peter says, this channel is God sent. Hallelujah. Our God is great. We must pray fire and force indeed 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 my sister sandra how are you sandra makuran says good evening champions evening to you too i hope the uk is okay we are fine and we are live and we are back and i think our network is almost performing like we expected so we want to really thank the lord for that the devil can never shut this voice this is the voice of the heavens this is the voice of freedom this is the voice of power and authority, a voice demanding the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. And we are never going to give up. Devil, you are a liar. You can never continue to oppress Zimbabweans. God Almighty is the one who created the Zimbabweans. And this time around, is coming through. Nangagwa is going down. Nangagwa is falling. You can never try any tricks whatsoever and succeed because God's time is now and the season has come. You cannot overtake the season because you cannot overtake what God has ordained. So let us continue to be strong, standing in prayer, intercessors in prayer, children of God, change champions, all joined up together, supporting our change champion in chief and making sure that the blue train continues to roll. That train is bringing joy, prosperity. It is bringing peace to Zimbabwe. It is bringing everlasting, you know, everlasting love and peace for the nation of Zimbabwe. That has suffered for a very, very long time. But our God is not a man that he shall lie. Definitely in this season, we are going to see the hand of the Lord delivering a nation that we so want. And God is in it. God is in it. So family, I would want to appreciate you so much for joining me on the show. I am going to be signing out. But before I can go, I just want to give a word of prayer every time. We need to thank our God that finally even us, we are back on the show without many glitches and hitches. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining us. Father, we thank you even this moment. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord, mighty Jehovah, we love you for loving Zimbabwe. We love you for loving peace. We love you for loving Zimbabwean prosperity. And this time you have given us a season, a season that we are taking over our nation and finally running the nation is according to your will. My Father, my Lord, and my God, we see your move in Zimbabwe. The enemy's camp is on fire because the season has come. The season that the Zimbabwean people must see the back of Zanu PF and the oppressors of the Zimbabwean people. Lord, we continue to pray and to thank you that you have always been faithful. You remain faithful always. And we are following behind knowing that the Lord is, is on the move and definitely peace is coming. Zimbabwe is free. Zimbabwe is free. Zimbabwe is free. Father, we thank you in Jesus' 
mighty name, Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. Family, I love you so much. We are going to be meeting again tomorrow, definitely tomorrow. More shows, as we are, as you can see, our network looks like just come back alive. So we are going to be compensating and cruise, cruise, cruise a lot more tomorrow. Otherwise, love you so much. Remain blessed wherever you are. I send my love to you. May the Lord protect you and bless you. I sign out. Love you so much.